Welcome back, everyone, to another daily devotion, the word for you today. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you click on that subscribe button. We thank you for your support. As always, we are glad you're here. So today we've got try to be more gentle, and our scripture is 1 Thessalonians 2 and 7, we were gentle among you. Wrecking balls are used to demolish things, but they're useless in the building process. With that picture in mind, ask yourself, do I use the force of my personality and the power of my position to impose my will on people and get them to do things my way? If your answer is yes, then understand this. Those who are the most controlling are often the most afraid of being controlled. Interesting. Question, what do you fear would happen if you treated others with respect and considered their input ideas and choices? Are fear and intimidation the only ways you can imagine of holding on to relationships? Wouldn't you rather earn the love of others by being considerate rather than cruel, or are you willing to settle for fearful submission? If you need to, talk to a friend or a counselor and try to get to the root of the deeper issues that are driving your behavior. Over the next week, try not to criticize or rob anyone of his or her right to choose. Remember that even God gives people the power of choice, and you're not God. <laughs> we certainly are not. Keep this challenge going for two more weeks or for as long as it takes to get your controlling attitude under control. Paul was prolific enough to write the epistles and powerful enough to raise the dead. Yet he said, we were gentle among you just as a nursing mother cherishes her own children. That was verse seven of first Thessalonians two. When people make mistakes, Paul said, Restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness, considering yourself, lest you also be tempted, Galatians 6 and 1. So the word for you today is try to be more gentle. Don't be such a bull going in there. <laughs> so there you have it. That is the word for you today. Uh, God bless you. We will see you tomorrow.